Uh, role play rules. There are rules to role play. Mm-hmm. All right. Stay in character. Don't break character if you're stuck. Okay. I see this happen a lot of time with newer agents, and it's okay. It's okay to break character to just feel like you have to stop. But think about this. If you're on the call with a client, are you going to say, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Can I just call you back? (laughs) Or uh, what's how does that work again? How does that you don't you're not going to stop in real life in the middle of the call. Don't do it during role play. I know it's okay. It happens. There's certain instances if you're new and you're just like, hey guys, honestly, don't fucking know what I'm talking about here. I'd love to just step back and listen for this next one. That's okay once in a while. But if you're in it, try, try, try your very best. And that's that goes hand in hand with us setting this up for you, some potential solutions. If we've talked a little bit about potential solutions, I think we all have the ability to at least try to get through that phone call. Yeah. Well, last, last one with the potential solutions makes me think twice because I don't I don't like the idea of saying, hey, here's where we're going with this. Now you do yeah. your best with it. I think that okay. we should be forced to speak like off the top of mind and think like in the moment, you know, yeah. it maybe if if someone like you're saying is new and maybe don't know, like, I don't even know how to answer this question. Right. Maybe then give them the, the nuts and bolts and then go with it. But yeah. I feel like you should be having to think for the moment that's a good point in these role plays because that's realistic and about gonna, instead of the like first two minutes powwow. we put it near the end of it yeah or or in the feedback yeah it's part of the feedback yeah feedback thank you yeah nick hey what's up mike hey brother um when it comes to staying in character right like staying in your role mm-hmm. and <clears throat> When you get stuck, when you get flustered, I I think there's a lot of benefit to maintaining your role because you're going to get stuck. You're going to get flustered. You're going to get stumped with a real life human being. It doesn't fucking matter if you're brand new. It doesn't matter if you're completely seasoned. So I I don't want to contradict you, but No, it's not okay to break your role because you can't do that in real life. So there's a huge benefit to learning how to role play through that because as a new agent, just using that as a thought, if something comes up in a conversation and you don't know what the hell it is, you can't tell a client, hey, I'm just going to sit back and listen. Because right. the client's going to be like, well, then I'll call somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, you have yeah, to learn how point. to be like, hey, that's a great question. I appreciate that you asked it. I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. One of the best parts about you working with me, though, is I'm a part of this huge team that's done more transactions than you and I can count. So there's not a question you can come up with that I can't find an answer to. I love that. I love that. Does that work for you guys? Stay in character. Don't break. What Jason said yeah. real quick, just a suggestion. I think we've talked about this in the past. Maybe instead of giving the um, ideas of how you could handle a role play during the role play meeting, mm-hmm. what if we were to have some sort of like evergreen like script book almost that has all of the role plays in it and then it has a couple suggestions on how like the top agents like Matt and JC and Mike think that we should handle those role plays. You want like, to talk about that, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh buddy we so got you covered <laughs> uh last couple of weeks rachel and i've been uh working on that uh that script bible for you guys and it hits on a lot of these topics so senior agents like jc said we know how to map these conversations because we've got experience we know the likely outcomes of how these things are going to shake out because we've been down that road been beat up but newer agents you guys are completely unfamiliar with those roadmaps right so what we're putting together for you guys, and we hinted on it a little bit a few weeks back on our morning huddle, is to give you guys the mapping for these situations and to give you some light scripting to go along with that mapping. Once you guys know where to take a conversation, then practicing your in your own words, using your own personality, taking a person through the conversation to those likely outcomes, that's where you're gonna, your success is going to come from. So we're putting that together 
for all the objections and all the scenarios that we can think of. Slow moving process is a big project we're working on, but it is coming. And when we get into more of these role plays, you guys can study these. And then when we jump into the role plays, you'll be graded on how well you actually execute what you've studied. It's a huge undertaking. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Matt. I'm glad that you brought that oh, up. It was I'm like so timing. happy to do it. I saw Matt sitting behind you like licking his chops <laughs> ready to talk about this. So it, this is a huge undertaking. And I'm so happy as well that, you know, you said light scripting because that's that's super important that it's not we're not writing you three paragraphs of how exactly to word it and phrase it. That's so important. We love scripts as real estate agents. Scripts are important, but memorizing scripts like an actor are going to hurt you. You need to be able to know the idea of what the right way to handle an objection is and use your own tonality, vocabulary, body language to work through that objection. You see what I'm saying? Memorizing scripts is not always going to help you. Of course, sometimes when you're cold calling, you might have a sentence or two is that you always open with. That's totally good scripting, but objection handling scripting can only, it, 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 more likely than not, it's going to make you sound like a robot and you're going to say something that you memorized that probably has nothing to do with exactly what your client said right there. And it's going to make you sound like you didn't listen. So good stuff. I'm so excited to see that we're, uh, it, it's it's quite an undertaking. So it's going to take a little while. I know we've been talking about it for a long time, but we're excited for it. Uh, real quick on mm -hmm. uh, being stuck. With being stuck, like you get stuck sometimes in real life too. Yeah. And I, I am super scripted. I mm -hmm. always, always use scripts. But if I get stuck, I, I just simply say to the client, I mean, role play or real life, like, Oh my gosh, I think I think I'm not expressing myself well. I'm sorry. So let me just ask you and I'll double check whatever we're on. Yeah. And then I just start again. Yeah. And so it's a way to like you just sound like a real human being and you could start again in real life with real people. Yeah. Exactly. Just sounding normal. Exactly. I love that. Um yeah. Let's work on that. <laughs> yeah. Or or as Adrian said, you could just hang up and call them back. Don't do that. Uh stay in character. Don't break if you're stuck. This is huge practice practice potential for you guys right here. Realistic objections, no villains, no pushovers. You got to find that good middle ground. This is just like what we talked about. Be hard, be tough, but don't be an asshole. Be, don't be that super villain. Don't be that, no, 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 no. Work with the call. Make the call, make the agent better. Uh, no villains, no pushovers either. Sometimes I know it's 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 8.57, and we got three minutes for one more call. Sure, let's give them a fucking layup. That's not helping anyone. You might as well just call, you know, ended the role play three minutes early. So be real. Use the time you got. Step up and get started right away. Um, this is something that's gotten so much better. I put this in here anyway because this used to be an issue. Um, there would be 30-minute role play phone role play sessions where people would just chat about something completely different for 30 minutes, a contract question. And four people in a room would just talk about a contract question or how damn rainy it is in San Diego for 30 minutes. This is not a time to chit chat. You guys can come to the office and hang out here in the cafe if you want to chit chat. This role play is to make you better with working with objections. It's for one thing. And you guys have been so great on that. So thank you for that. That's great. But I always like to reiterate that. If someone is off track, uh, this is something that we, we don't do enough of either. It's totally okay to call out tangent. If, uh, if an agent is going completely in a different direction and they're talking themselves in circles, we could stop that. We could say, hey, tangent, come on back. Let's, let's dial you back. Let's try that again. Let's start it fresh. So totally okay to do that. Uh, feedback, be respectful, be kind, come from contribution. We start with what we liked. Then we go into what, how do we want to approve? Some of these role plays can get a little contentious. I remember there was one last week that I know a lot of you agents love where it was the buyer's agent calling the listing agent talking about a request for repairs. I know there are a couple of role play situations where like two agents were getting fucking at it. And I love that. I think a couple agents were, yeah, Matt, I think it was Matt, right? Was it, yep. Was it you and Hodges? Yeah. And, and, and that's real. That's real life. You know, um, I was in a room with, with Tom and I was like, Tom, uh, Tom and Andrew, right? Was it you guys? I was like, Tom, give him hell. And you did. You didn't push back. You didn't just say, oh, okay, well, yeah, that sounds good. You know, my, my, my clients will probably go for that. You're like, 
No, that's completely unrealistic. Why would they want to buy for and pay for a new roof? The roof's fine. Absolutely not. You kept pushing back and pushing, pushing back and made Andrew go from like, well, here's what I want to present to like, okay, I got to step this up. It made you go from a pushover of an agent yourself to, okay, I'm really going to go and fight for my clients now. So I love these types of role plays. So these role plays sometimes will get a little fiery and that's okay. Especially when we're doing agent to agent role plays, which I want to do more of because those are really important. I'm realizing. Um, so we're going to do more of that and just make sure that, you know, this feedback is fun. We're at the end of the role play. You give each other a hug. You know what I mean? Over the phone.